welcome back to Tea Time with Sugar. It's Thursday, and that means it's tea time. Today I have a hydro flask as a tea holder. We've got some chamomile tea in here. I just want to talk a, a little bit about this. It is not sponsored by Hydro Flask at all, but this is a great product. I used it during the extreme cold weather that we had um, a while back in my area in my state and we had our power on for about 20 minutes every five hours now we had other sources of heat but the electricity was on 20 minutes every five hours which is not very good we had so many layers on we looked like little mummies walking around but we were fine also when the light came on that means the heat was on uh, I could go to the microwave, boil some water or get some water extremely hot, put it in this hydro flask. Everyone has a hydro flask, different sizes. And you could put soup, you could put tea, coffee, whatever you'd like to put in there. And it stayed warm for hours and hours. In fact, it in mine, it stayed warm till the next time the electricity came back on. So... This was fantastic. Uh, if you don't have one of these, I'm not suggesting you get one. They're not cheap. This was a gift that was given to me, but they're well worth the price. I think this is this size is around $40 or $42. But during that cold snap, and I don't even want to say snap, it was a long time, it was a saving grace for sure. But today... Uh, that was just beginning to tell you what I'm using today. It's a little chilly outside, so I'm having some nice chamomile tea in there. The topic for today is going to be the drought. Now, the drought is not over, uh, and also the effects of the drought are definitely not over. I had a dear friend of mine go to a west, a far west state in uh, the United States, and she visited there she saw that the fields were fallow, the almond trees were being pulled up, destroyed, burned. So the almond crop is down about 90% from what it was before. Some people eat almonds, some people don't. I enjoy the whole shell roasted almonds. This is a big bag. It's actually two pounds. Now, I will package these in a mason jar and I will put an oxygen absorber in there because I want to try to extend the life. They don't last that long around here, but I want to extend the life if I can. Um, you need to watch nuts because they would will go rancid faster than, let's say, rice. Again, the almond trees, not all of them, but the almond trees were being pulled up, they were being piled up, and they were being set on fire so they were being destroyed it takes a long time for almond uh, trees to grow and produce it's not overnight it's not a year uh, so my opinion is in the future or the near future there might be uh, a shortage on almonds so if you eat almonds if you enjoy almonds go pick some up at your grocery store at your local store where big box store wherever you would like in the stores, uh, she said that there there was food, but not many, not as many tomatoes, almonds, different nuts. And again, remember, we're eating food from last year's crops, the basic, not the tomatoes, obviously. Uh, the canned tomatoes are from last year's crops. There's so many different shortages going on, food shortages. It's challenging it's scary it's alarming and i hope that people are waking up and seeing that they really need to get out there and first my suggestion is plan your garden now it's fall it may be snowing where you are but go ahead and plan where you're going to put that spring garden are you going to put uh plants in pots containers buckets different things. 
I will be having a, a video coming up on ideas of different types of buckets, not just containers that you would, a pot that you would buy at a store, you know, different things you can use instead of a flower pot that might cost a lot of money and you just don't have that readily available cash to go out and buy a fancy flower pot. There are a lot of things that you can find at your own home, at your own homestead. You can actually find these on the curb on trash day if you want to you know, drive around in your neighborhood, or you could find them near um, a dumpster. And another thing is you could find these at the bakery at your local store. Ask the bakery department, ask the deli department. They might have plastic containers, food grade, of course, because food comes in it. They might have food grade containers that they're throwing out the door in the, in the dumpster that they don't want, they don't want to deal with, they just want them gone. Well, I appreciate you stopping by for Tea Time with Sugar today. It's Thursday, and I'm a little late putting this up, but I had a whole lot of things to do this morning, and we wanted to get out there and get things done in the yard before it got too windy. I appreciate you stopping by. Give me a thumbs up. And in the comments below, let me know what type of insulated drink container that you use when it gets very cold. And tell me maybe where you purchased it so you can share with the other community members if they're searching for something uh, of good quality that will last. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also Make that bell light up so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. And I'll see you in the next video.